We asked you what your favorite webtoon detectives were and we got a lot of responses. Those are good. Oh, I like those. The dude has a name. This one actually made me laugh. We love thrilling lies. Weird statement, but it's true. Luca Purple High Synth and Senorita Cometa. We love mysteries and we love the people solving it. It tickles that solving part of our brain. What What is that? Humans are naturally curious, so mysteries allow us to go through situations we wouldn't normally go through in our day to day and allows us to come up with these answers. Either we're wrong and are in total shock, or we're geniuses and figured it out right from the beginning. Or we lie and aggressively try to convince the person we were with the entire time. We knew it from the very beginning, but we wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do that, right? Look how the genre has thrived in modern media. Netflix's Glass Onion and Marvel's Secret Invasion all have twists and turns that leave us kind of wondering what is going on and questioning everything we ever decided to watch. Now, what's the difference between a classic detective story, mystery thriller, and an espionage tale? A classic detective story focuses on one case at a time. The detective will use a series of clues to come up with a culprit's MO. It's dialogue heavy, there are no tangential elements or outside forces that distract the viewer. Mystery thrillers add action and drama to amplify the story and keep the viewer engaged. A lot of the times they highlight multiple crimes that are interconnected to tell the main story. Going deeper, we have espionage thrillers. They conduct their own investigations separate from the police and traditional forms of law. They have alter egos slash aliases to hide their true identity. Lastly, at times they have a calling card or a signature synonymous with themselves. Our detectives embody spies and vigilantism as they lurk in the shadows and hide their identities. They do this so they can reach their own form of justice as well as discover the truth. A great example of a series that has this mystery narrative thriller would be Purple Hyacinth. Yes, the webtoon original with secrets, double identities, those strong jaw lines. Just look at this gorgeous, paintery, scratchy art style. The series follows Lauren Sinclair. She could tell with certainty when someone is lying, and us, the reader, can follow along as the text will appear red when it's a lie. She's an officer who was once a detective, but now is demoted. Why? You're a lying scumbag. I will end you. But I'm not lying. I say red! Due to a horrific bomb attack that happened at a train station when she was a child, she lost her best friend, pushing her to dedicate her life to catching the criminals who did this. Their name? The Phantom Scythe. <laughs> now she must team up with the Phantom Scythe <laughs> Greatest assassin, Kieran, AKA the Purple Hyacinth. An assassin who leaves the Purple Hyacinth flower as his calling card. Pay attention to that, as that matters. They team up with the goal of discovering and getting rid of the leader of the Phantom Sives. Sorry, let me get some water. <sighs> okay, ready. But that's not the only mysteries, as both Kieran and Lauren hold secrets that will lead them down a path of bloodshed and pain. This series has mystery, but what makes it an espionage thriller? First, Loon. This is the alter ego Lauren and Kieran take on to go on their investigations. They wear disguises and sneak into different locations to trap and kidnap wealthy criminals who have evaded arrests in order to get valuable information for their personal investigations. They subsequently stop the crimes those individuals were committing while, you know, getting answers out of them. They do this by filling up case files full of evidence that the police can legally use. And that's the important part. As there are rules they must abide by when prosecuting someone, as how a detective obtains incriminating information matters. And those rules are there to protect you and me. They also leave the culprit all tied up for the police and a letter with the evidence as their calling card. Oh look, another calling card. And they're vigilante spies that leaves us clues to solve the mystery of the phantom. <laughs> I'm not getting yelled at again. So an officer and assassin become vigilante spies. So what does Senorita Cometa do? Now let me introduce Alex, the lead of Senorita Cometa. She's a tech genius who quit her job to be the IT specialist at her local police department. Weren't you here a few days ago complaining about your missing friend? Oh, those shoes are cool. You're hired. She makes friends with Officer Adal and they take justice into their own hand as she looks for her missing best friend friend Lola, which leads her down to a series of mysteries that point her at the two rival gangs running the city. This series is full of positive, sometimes not so positive, energy. The colors, vibrant. The vibes, immaculate. The romantic tension, tense. The art style is beautifully drawn and expressive. It gives off like this old school anime vibe that I just love. The series follows the genre through a different perspective, which became a tried and true formula in this style. And I love it. Senorita Cometa is a phantom thief. A phantom thief is someone who steals something under a moniker. That's their main crime, theft. Not assault, not assassination, not vandalism. Some key factors is they announce their crime before they're gonna commit it. It's expected to be a flashy spectacle. One of the mysteries is how are they gonna commit this crime and how are they gonna get away with it? Senorita Cometa does this well because they plant seeds of how they're gonna commit the crime earlier within the story and you can kind of see it be built in real time. They leave a calling card where they stole the object so people know it was them. Huh. 
Another calling card. Senorita Cometa has no problem showing their influences, as they show it in the series itself. In Alex's cases, all her capas are either to gather information on the gangs to find out where their next move is and where is Lola, or to get the police to legally stumble across some evidence that will incriminate the person they are stealing from. The series builds the mystery of the two rival gangs, the human trafficking ring, and our main characters themselves. Everyone is hiding secrets, and Alex and Adal aren't the only ones on the case. Detective Booge is also part of the investigation, to take down both the rival gangs and to stop Cometa's crime spree. He frequents a mind palace, a place where he holds all the evidence in his head and visualizes solving clues, but it also gives us a chance to review all the evidence and see if we can find out the answer ourselves. All of this is to say I, I love mysteries, I love the classic detective stories, I love spy thrillers, I love Phantom Thief. They get the brain working, you're constantly overthinking everything, which is part of the fun. They get your adrenaline pumping, and when the action is happening, you're just like, oh my god, are they gonna make it? But then you're also really like, what's the answer? What's the answer? Make it so I can know the answer. If you make me wait longer for the answer. These stories are packed with adventure, action, and so much mysteries that you, you should really go check them out in Webtoon. Personally, I feel like mysteries aren't talked enough about in the Webtoon community. We really need to start like looking at them and appreciate them, as they encompass so many different genres, and some of our favorite genres outside of mystery are mysteries themselves. It's just not coded as a mystery. You know secretly some of these are mysteries. It's well worth the buildup, and the more time you spend trying to figure out the answer, the more time you spend with these characters. So when the twists hit, they hit hard. Senorita Cometa and Purple Hyacinth are great, amazing places to start. But that's not where your mystery journey should end. So explore the mystery tab on Webtoon. And if you have any recommendations, legitimately if you have any recommendations, please leave it in the comments down below because I, I think I've read a lot of them, but I know I'm missing a few. I, I, I can't read everything, but maybe you could tell me. How many of the names do you think I got wrong in this?